Hi, welcome to another Bex Hybrids PFR report. I'm Jason Webster, Bex Hybrids Practical Farm Research Innovation Lead. So today we are at the Central Illinois Practical Farm Research site and we're looking at where we've come in and we've done different tillage methods where we're growing continuous corn every single year. Now the forms of tillage that we're looking at include conventional tillage, say with a disc ripper in the fall, and then we come in with a secondary tillage in the spring such as a soil finisher or even vertical tillage for that matter as well. We also look at strip till, we look at vertical till or universal tillage, we have no-till uh, operations as well, and one of the newest things we have at our practical farm research farm here in Downs, Illinois is moldboard plowing. We haven't had moldboard plowing on our farms as a, as a tillage type in the past, but we've had some customers ask, can a moldboard plow, such as this tool behind me, handle some of the residue and do a good job of breaking up the carbon penalty associated with continuous corn? So since those growers asked us to bring this, this type of tillage method in, we did just that. And this was the first year in 2015 we were actually be, uh, able to, to, to harvest yield data from this type of aggressive tillage. Now, let's talk about moldboard plowing. This is the first year that we've been able to, to record yield data. Tremendous yield response from moldboard plowing and continuous corn rotations here at our Downs, Illinois farm, Central Illinois PFR site. We were seeing over 19 bushel yield increases over our past winter of conventional tillage where we were able to come in with a moldboard plow in the fall and then come in with secondary tillage in the spring. Again, we were seeing some really nice yield gains over 19 bushel per acre over that, that conventional tillage program. Let's start with advantages. There's probably three uh, specific advantages for this type of system. Number one, residue management. When we're in a corn after corn situation, we're gonna have a lot of residue, a lot of stalks out in the field, and this tool will bury that residue, do a nice job of, of get, um, uh, moving that residue underneath the soil surface. That's also gonna help with, with disease management as well. Secondly, we are in a world of weed resistance right now. We've got weeds we can't control and they go to seed and some of that weed seed is laying on top of the soil surface. We're hoping that a tool like this could bury some of that weed, uh, weed seed, resistant weed seed, and prevent it from germinating in uh, future, future years. The third thing, uh, the third advantage we see from a mobile plow is we leave the soil pretty black on top of the soil surface. We're hoping in the spring it will collect heat, collect more sunshine, and dry out a little quicker and hopefully we can plant corn a little bit more timelier. We've shown in our practical farm research planting date studies on corn that if we can get in and plant earlier, there is some potential for higher corn yield. So maybe we can get in and we can plant corn just a little bit quicker with this type of tillage scenario. All right, let's talk about some disadvantages of a moldboard plow system. One, obviously, is going to be erosion potential. If we've got a farm that has some roll, some elevation changes in it, we've got the ability of water uh, moving down the, the side hills, that's going to be a, an erosion situation, and we want to stay away from that with this type of tillage situation. Dead furrows, just something we, we have to manage with a moldboard plowing system. Those can be a challenge, and those are definitely a disadvantage. Third, high cost of operation. It does take uh, quite a bit of time to do moldboard plowing. It is a slow process. That's a, that's a cost of operation. That's burning more diesel fuel. That's more time on the field. Lastly, depending on how well of a job we do in the fall of moldboard plowing in the spring, it could, it could take two secondary passes in the spring to get the proper leveling, to get that seedbed that we want to plant into in the spring. One of the things that we are doing at Bex to help alleviate the, the cost of operation, especially the length of time it takes to mold bore plow, is we've brought in this Kong skilled mold bore plow that's a rollover plow. And the advantage of this type of plow is that it's going to eliminate making lands out in the field. And that's what's really caused mold bore plowing to take a lot of time. With this rollover feature, we can go pass to pass. We don't have to make lands. We can turn around at the end and come right back with the rollover function. So this is really sped up the moldboard plowing here at Central Illinois PFR. I want to thank Kong Skilled in Industries for supplying us the moldboard plow for our uh, tillage and rotation study here at Central Illinois PFR. This plow has been very interesting to watch and we're going to keep documenting what we find with this form of tillage in comparison to all the other forms of tillage that we are using here on this farm. For all the information regarding some of the studies that we do in our practical farm research program, go to our website at bexhybrids.com and uh, click on the practical farm research tab and you can see all of the agronomic studies that we're working on. Thanks so much for watching.